Many thanks for keeping it Metropole TV. Time to get sporty here on Metropole Sports Center. My name is Makali John. Now today, working, still working from home, is Nashon Owano. Hoping that uh, next week I'll have him by my side to try and focus on sports. But tremendous work done by him in terms of production to have uh, the program done as we focus on the English Premier League transfer, uh, the transfer across Europe and also the resumption of sports uh, in Kenya. As Amina Mohammed has said that in a week's time, uh, the date for uh, resumption of sports will be mooted and we'll have to see what will happen. Remember, in the course of the week, Francis Kimanzi, the head coach of Harambe Stars, said that they were to meet with FKF to decide on the fate of Harambe Stars in terms of uh, getting back to training as they prepare for the African Cup of Nation qualifiers, uh, which uh, they are grouped with Egypt and Comoros uh, together with uh, Togo. Uh, we'll be focusing on that, but to, uh, today let's uh, take a look at our first story whereby uh, the CS for Sports has given a report concerning uh, the resumption of sports and the committee that was set aside to uh, take a look into this uh, came up with a report whereby the guidelines uh, were uh, released uh, in the course of the week. Uh, and the organizers of the uh, sporting events have been given up to one week to get a look into the sporting activities and give their feedback before the resumption of sports. Now the sporting guidelines that were, be, were given uh, by the CES, that is Amina Mohammed, were all organizers and venue operators should appoint the COVID-19 contact person, preferably sports officers and response team. This means that in the Kenya Premier League, all the teams will have uh, at least uh, these COVID-19 contact persons. I don't know how uh, logic it is because it will be a bit expensive to Kenyan uh, teams concerning uh, this matter because uh, not most teams have sponsors and will raise that kind of money uh, to be able to move uh, with such protocols that have been given. Uh, number two, will uh, they will have to ensure the availability of hand washing facilities, sanitizers and thermometers at the training and competition sites. Again, all venue operators should ensure safe environments, carry out regular cleaning and disinfection ven uh, ven the venues, associate, uh, associated fixtures and equipment. Team event organizers should gather teams in place uh, prior to prior to and until the end of the championship. The organizers will keep records and contact information, the contact information that leads and any other person to ease of contact tracing. Now this one, uh, when you look at it and focus on athletics, remember the champion, the under 20 championship is set to resume uh, next year in the course of next year. Uh, that is 17th of August and uh, it will just be a week after uh, the Tokyo Olympic Games. Now these guidelines uh, the venue guidelines will be uh, booking in advance online or over the phone is preferred uh, where, where this is not possible and a, uh, a venue has staff available to take bookings. Consider mandating contactless trans uh, transactions to avoid handling uh, reservation documents and cash. Remember, not all the supporters will be allowed uh, to get into the field to focus uh, or to uh, to take a look at what will be happening in the fields and swimming is one of the most uh, sporting activities that will be affected as uh, they, wo they won't resume because these will be the most affected uh, sporting activity. They'll have to wait uh, to await the fate of CS uh, Amina Mohammed. Uh, whether they'll have to resume uh, in a month's time or it will have to take long. Now the resumption steps uh, will have the first one whereby medical and fitness tests will have to be done. Then phase two, individual outdoor field based or indoor uh, gym conditioning. Uh, then we'll have uh, team training, uh, domestic competition, uh, and we'll have no spectators as I indicated earlier then. Uh, Cross-border, no spectators. Then at number six, uh, no restriction spectators present. These uh, will take uh, place uh, in the coming weeks as sports uh, are set to resume. Then we have the review of the guidelines. Uh, these, these guidelines will actually uh, be monitored on a monthly basis uh, regarding with uh, what MOH will be uh, indicating concerning the in infection of COVID-19. Now those are some of the 
uh, guidelines that were given by the sports CS, that is Amina Mohammed. Uh, the organizers of these events have been given uh, and, uh, up to one week to get uh, deep into these guidelines, go through them, and make sure that they adhere to the uh, guidelines that uh, have been given. After a week, they need to go back to the committee together with the CS, Amina Mohammed, to try and look into it. And if they'll come to an argument with what MOH has given, then that means uh, in a week's time we'll have uh, sporting activities back in the country. Remember, in Tanzania, uh, sporting activities uh, uh, went on as usual uh, after the president of the Republic of Tanzania, that is President Magufuli, said that uh, uh, there were no cases uh, in, in Tanzania. Uh, Looking forward, uh, the, the, the Kenya national team, that is Harambe Stars, is set to resume uh, its training, uh, though they have not uh, indicated whether they'll follow the, uh, these protocols. And Amina insisted that it has to take up to at least one week uh, for the committee and organizers uh, to try and take a look into it uh, so as to have each and every aspect of the guidelines uh, followed to ensure that... Uh, People are not uh, affected with this uh, pandemic. I'm talking about the COVID-19. That, now, that's all uh, that um, uh, happened in terms of the resumption of sporting activities in the country. We're going to take a look at some of the annual uh, occasion uh, of the women bikers that happen uh, within the country. That is annually. It happens once in, uh, in a year. And our reporter and our very own uh, sporting analyst, that is Eric Shilenje, caught up with the bikers. Let's listen in.
Now the annual event for women bikers is it's not actually a competition it's uh, an event to celebrate uh, the women bikers which uh, it happens annually as they indicated. Now moving forward the longest Champions League campaign ended with Bayern Munich uh, winning one goal against uh, PSG a goal that was scored by uh, Kingsley Coman. Now very interesting Kingsley Coman was a former player of Paris and Jama uh, Paris and Jama he scored uh, against his former team I didn't expect him to celebrate but again he went ahead it was a final, a very important uh, a game for them and uh, they won that uh, title. Now I'm taking a short commercial break. After the break I'll be joined by Eric Shilenje who is uh, our resident analyst to talk matters about the uh, transfer gossip in Europe. Don't go too far.